The Underground Railroad refers to the effort, sometimes spontaneous, sometimes highly organized, to assist persons held in bondage in North America to escape from slavery. While most runaways began their journey unaided, and many completed their self-emancipation without assistance. Each decade in which slavery was legal in the United States saw an increase in the public perception of an underground network and in the number of persons willing to give aid to the runaways. Although this study impasses the period from America's independence to the end of Civil War, 1770s to 1865, it focused on the years between 1820 and 1865 when most anti-slavery advocates abandoned their hope for gradual emancipation and adopted immediate abolition of slavery in their goal. Although divided in, on this issue, the abolition movement was a success, success in expanding and publicizing the informal network known as the Underground Railroad. The term Underground Railroad had no meaning to the generations before the first rails and the engines of the 1820s, but many earlier events were persecuted of the Underground Railroad. This study includes incidents which all have the characteristics of the Underground Railroad activity, but which occurred before the 1820s. These activities foreshadowed and helped to shape the Underground Railroad. While the primary focus will be on the most active period of the Underground Railroad activity, it is important to document earlier and related events which contribute to an understanding of this national, significant, and widespread enterprise. Slaves have been making their way north to freedom since the late 18th century. As the division between slave and free states hardened in the first half of the 19th century, abolitionists and their sympathizers developed a more methodical approach to assisting runaways. The, the Underground Railroad was critical to paving roadway toward the abolition of slavery. Its purpose was simple to escort African Americans from their vicious owners in the South to the free states of the North. It is simply stated yet an arduous task. African Americans would have to traverse through swamps and mountainous terrain in the dusk of night, risking brutal punishment if caught and processed back to their owners. Many captured fugitive slaves were flogged, branded, jailed, sold back into slavery, or even killed. However, not only the slaves received repercussion if caught, the operators leading them to the north could be lynched if discovered aiding a slave to freedom. Go down, the path to freedom African Americans to The story of the Underground Railroad is filled with danger and drama, tragedy and triumph, evil slave hunters, and unsung heroes. The journey to freedom on the Underground Railroad was difficult and dangerous. To reduce the risk of being caught, many people who were part of the Underground Railroad only knew the part of the operation. The conductors were the guides who led the slaves from station to station. Sometimes the conductors would pretend to be a slave in order to enter the plantation. Once part of the plantation, the conductor would send their runaways north. William Still and Harriet Tubman are the most well-known conductors. Once aboard the railroad, they traveled at night by foot about 10 to 12 miles between each station. The route was indirect and was supposed to confuse the pursuers. 
The runaways would obtain a ticket and be called cargo. The hiding places were called stations, and the station masters were the people who hid the fugitives in homes, churches, and caves. The financial benefactors, they helped pay for everyday items needed by the station masters. These people were called stockholders. Conductors sent coded messages to each other along the route to keep the cargo safe. A lit lantern would signal the conductors it was safe to enter the station. Newspapers were filled with information about escaped slaves offering a sizable reward for the capture and return. Some fugitive women would disguise themselves as men so they would, would not be recognized. One man even shipped himself to freedom. On the Underground Railroad, signals would be used to direct slaves to escape routes and assistance. Quilts were made and placed outside to be seen. These quilts had ten different patterns to direct runaways to take a particular action. Spiritual songs also contain coded information to help individuals navigate the railroad. The arrival in Canada, an estimated 100,000 slaves escaped using the Underground Railroad. However, many fugitives were disappointed with their new lives in Canada. The British colonies had no slavery after 1834, but were but blacks were still discriminated against. With the Civil War of 1863 in the United States, many black refugees left Canada to enlist in the Union Army. Abraham Lincoln, the Emancipation Proclamation, and the end of the Civil War, thousands of, thousands of freed blacks returned to the American South to reconnect with loved ones.